Look for never you. Just tell people that I would turn them corners, no? I'm going to say Shasta Ville. Road 8. Yeah. Now, thank you very much. Uh, to the high command of the iron sharpens iron. Distinguished guests, speakers. sons and daughters of Mother Africa. I stand up here very excited. I'm very, very excited and I'll tell you why I'm excited. Firstly, I'm excited to see so many people in this room on the eve of a long weekend. You know, I thought people by now, they've been Wild Coast, they've been Sun City. That gives me hope for the future. If I see people in this room. Listening to Mabizela, I like him because he talks straight, just like me, as I'll talk straight again. Uh, very, very encouraging. I don't know what I'm going to say now about the leadership because my topic supposedly is the power of ethical leadership in a developing South Africa. So I'm going to cut corners. And Unongo uh, see here spoke about a subject that is very close to my heart, yeah. uh, entrepreneurship. Yeah. I've said, I've stood in platform, I was in the Presidential Advisory Council for the five years, first five years of our president's term. I push this because if you look at all the legislation in South Africa relating to black economic empowerment, economic emancipation. There is little that is said about entrepreneurship. Yeah. Yeah. And yet entrepreneurship is what is going to liberate us economically and take us away from this uh, entitlement culture. Yeah. I'm not saying that we should not develop multifaceted strategies but entrepreneurship should take the center stage. Yes. Full stop, bottom line. Black industrialist, I'm happy. The president, when he started speaking about that language, because we have been prompting beyond just black economic empowerment, beyond just small business development, this department of small business is a misnomer as far as I'm concerned. Because it locates you in small business. So you must think small. Oh. 